वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ बाय विजन अकेडमी एंड फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फ्रैप ओके फ्रेंड्स स्टूडेंट्स फ्रैप स्टैंड फॉर फ्लोरोसेंस रिकवरी आफ्टर फोटो ब्लीचिंग ओके स्टूडेंट्स फ्लोरोसेंस रिकवरी आफ्टर फोटो ब्लीचिंग स्टूडेंट्स द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रैप गिव्स यू एन आइडिया अबाउट व्हाट इज फ्रैप एंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फ्रैप ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रैप फोटो स्टैंड फॉर लाइट फोटो स्टैंड फॉर लाइट एंड ब्लीचिंग स्टैंड फॉर लॉस ओके इट मीन्स स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू यूज लाइट टू ब्लीच और यू कैन सेट टू लॉस और यू कैन सेट टू मेक लॉस ऑफ फ्लोरस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फ्लोरोफोर देन इट इज रिकवर्ड आफ्टर सम टाइम ओके इट मीन्स बाय यूजिंग फोटोन वी जस्ट ब्लीच द फ्लोरस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फ्लोरोफोर Which is recovered after some time. Okay, students. Fluorophore is the group, or you can say it is the molecule which show the property of fluorescence. Okay, so by using photon, we just bleach the fluorophore. Which and after bleaching, it's it is lost its property of fluorescence, which is recovered after some time. Okay, students, students, let's understand the process of frag. How the process of frag takes place? Okay, students, to understand frag, we will take an example of plasma membrane. Okay, you know that plasma membrane is made up of lipid and protein. Okay, so. generally we tag a lipid or protein with some fluorophore molecule or you can say with some fluorescent molecule like green fluorescent protein or nbd phosphatidyl ethanol amine okay and after tagging protein and phospholipid we just bleach the fluorophore molecule okay let's see how the process of frag takes place okay students suppose that it is a membrane okay it is a membrane it is a plasma membrane which is the which have the composition of lipid and phospholipid and we just tag this membrane with several fluorophore molecule okay several fluorophore molecule these are the fluorophore molecules and fluorophore are those molecule which show the property of fluorescence Which show the property of fluorescence. Okay, student, we generally used NBD. Okay, NBD. phosphatidyl ethanol
एमाइन ओके फॉस्फेटिडिल एथेनॉल एमाइन एंड स्टूडेंट्स एनबीडी स्टैंड फॉर नाइट्रो बेंज ऑक्सा डाई जोल ओके नाइट्रो बेंज ऑक्सा डाई जोल ओके स्टूडेंट दिस फ्लोरसेंट प्रोटीन इज यूज टू टैक द फॉस्फो लिपिड ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी सेलेक्ट a particular area on this membrane for bleaching okay suppose that it is the particular area and the diameter of this area is about 1 micro meter got it now students in next step we are going to incident a high intensity radiation on this particular area which having the diameter of 1 micrometer and if it it is a radi uh, radiation it means it having certain wavelength and the wavelength is 180 to 400 nanometer and student this is the wavelength of you will light okay now students when this high intensity uv light incident on this particular area then this particular area just lost its fluorescent property it just lost its fluorescence property got it so student the area which lost its fluorescent property is termed as bleached area is termed as bleached area bleached area okay and student the area around bleached area which still have the property of fluorescence or you can say which still contain the fluorophore molecule is it termed as unbleached area is termed as unbleached area got it now students after bleaching within a millisecond okay within a millisecond this bleached area just recovered its fluorescent property okay it just recovered its fluorescence property okay so fluorescence is just recovered okay students now students the question is how the bleached area recovered its fluorescence property okay 
स्टूडेंट आफ्टर ब्लीचिंग द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ फ्लोरोफोर मॉलिक्यूल इन द ब्लीच एरिया इज वेरी लेस and unbleached area still have the high concentration of fluorophore okay and students you know that there is a tendency of every molecule that they flow from higher concentration to lower concentration or you simply you can call it they diffuse from higher concentration to lower concentration so after bleaching within a millisecond the fluorophore molecule from unbleached area start moving to this bleached area okay and within millisecond bleached area recovered its fluorescence property okay a student at a speed of 10 to the power minus 7 to 10 to the power minus 8 cm square per second the fluorophore molecule from unbleached area start diffusing to this bleached area okay and student this is a very high speed so that's why within millisecond bleached area recovered its fluorescent property okay friends so this is the frap got it students in which you can now you you are able to understand fluorescence is recovered after photo bleaching okay friends so friends this is all about the frap i hope this discussion will help you to understand about the frap okay friends so if you like this video then please share this video with your friends please do subscribe our channel and friends please don't forget to press the bell icon so next time when we upload a new video you will get the notification okay friends So friends thank you for your presence for hearing have a nice day